Here's an example of converting a 3D structure to a Newman projection. And what you should do is you know, take a second and pause and see if you can figure out which of the answers are correct. Okay, so for this, what we want to do is go ahead and spot that our front carbon is going to be the one with the chlorine on it, no matter which of these answers we're looking at. So this is our front carbon. This will be our back carbon. What we're doing is looking then in this direction. So if you think about standing there looking at this in that direction, your right arm comes out of the page, your left arm goes into the page. It's also helpful if you draw in the hydrogen at the 3D centers. So they're implied, but we know that they're there. There's a back hydrogen here, a back hydrogen here. So now, don't worry about your answer choices. Let's just see if we can draw this. I'm going to draw the back carbon and the front carbon. Let's do the front carbon first. Coming directly down from this front carbon toward my feet, we have an ethyl group. Then I have two groups pointed up, one to the left, one to the right. On the left is the back group, the hydrogen. So on the right must be the chlorine. Next, if we do the same thing at the back carbon, pointing straight up in the plane is the methyl group. So that's going up toward my head. And then we have our downward groups on the left. So our left arm is going back. We'll have the hydrogen. On the right is an ethyl group, like that. So now, if you look at your choices, we find that A is the correct answer. Okay, in this example, we have another 3D structure we want to convert to a Newman projection. And one thing to go ahead and spot here is that your in-plane bonds are pointed in the same direction, opposed to your typical zigzag structure where they're in an opposite direction. When they're in that same direction like that, this is going to be an eclipsed conformation. So let's go ahead and draw in the hydrogens. Those must be back groups that are implied. And if I view this, I'm going to view from left to right. So here's the direction I'm looking. Again, I like to draw in a stick figure to reference everything. So if I'm laying on the page in that direction, my left arm's going into the page my right arm's coming out of the page. So if we convert this to a Newman projection, let's do the back carbon and then the front carbon. On the back carbon, pointing straight down toward our feet, we have a methyl group. Then we have the other two groups to put in. On the right is a wedge, is the OH. So I'll put the OH on the right, and that means the hydrogen must go on the left. Then for the front carbon. Well, what you should see is that here we have this ethyl group, CH2CH3, but it's also pointed downward toward my feet like the methyl group. So it's eclipsing that methyl group. What I'm going to do, though, is skew it just a little bit to the side so it's not directly on top. From there, I'll draw my other two bonds in. You just need to figure out which is which. Well, the hydrogen is a dash. My left arm's a dash. So the hydrogen must go on the left.
then the chlorine's a wedge, my right arm's a wedge, so the chlorine will go on the right. And this is the eclipse confirmation. So now let's look. We can go ahead and cross out A and C because those are staggered. B and D are both eclipsed. And we find the one that matches. We have the hydrogens on the left. We have the Cl and the OH. We have the ethyl and the methyl. Now you'll notice in this drawing, I skewed the back carbon around instead of skewing the front. It doesn't matter. It's still, the ethyl and the methyl were eclipsed. Ethyl methyl eclipsed. Chlorine OH eclipsed. Chlorine OH eclipsed. Hydrogen hydrogen eclipse. Hydrogen hydrogen eclipse. So these are identical.